hey guys, it's me, Waldo2413, back with another video. Okay, so in this video, guys, I'm going to run you through some of the setup on this printer. What you have to do, I literally just got done putting this base plate on and screwing it on. It will only go on one direction, um, just so you know that. Um, because if you turn it the other way, it won't fit. So next is what I'm going to do. And they have instructions in this, guys, but you want to follow everything to a T because if not, you could run into issues. Inks get set this way. The third one is this one, which is your white. And what you're going to do is that cable I just had, you are going to connect it. It will only go one way, so be careful push it in until it clicks. That's how you install that part. The next thing we're going to install are the air filters. That is these things guys. They go all of them go on this side the furthest back. And all these are for guys is because you need pressure in there. They got these little filters on the top. And what that filter does, it just stops dust from getting into the stuff. But you do need air to get into the setup. So, that is what these do. On this one, the white one, because it circulates the ink guys. The white has an ink circulation system. So you put it on the furthest, closest one this way. Next you do the others and other, and you can push these on as far as you want, as tight as you want, guys. All they are is little fins, so so you don't gotta go crazy over them. If you don't move the printer too much, you should be fine. That is the air filter. Like I went over, next, we are going to go through the hoses. The hoses, they do have a set direction they go on. So you will want to keep track of that. Follow it to the print head if you need to. and kind of work your way through. Now, I'm going to pause it because I've got to get to directions on which one's which. I do know most of them, but I want to double check on the white, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I hooked them up, and it was pretty self-explanatory because they all got different lengths except the two. So this first one right here is going to be your yellow. This one's going to be your black. The two that are the same because the circulation goes inside of here and pumps it. And this is the agitator. Um, so it agitates the white ink. But you're using white on two channels in this setup, guys, because even though there's five, it's six ports on this head. So instead of having two whites, they both piggyback off the same uh, pump thing here, guys. So make sure they're here. They're the double center ones. And then just follow them down. The one after that is magenta. And this one is cyan. So you've got that. Make sure you've got your white ink set up, guys. And then next, you're going to fill them with ink. I purchased my ink, guys. So now we'll do that. I'm probably going to do that off camera because I might reposition and set this somewhere else. Um, but I will be right back with you guys as soon as we get that set up. Okay guys, we're back. I relocated the printer to another spot. I'm going to probably relocate it after this again. But um, I'm just putting it right here for right now. Um, cause you need kind of a big stand. So this first one 
is yellow guys and this is the yellow ink you should have some gloves on sorry I don't remember it is a UV ink guys UV ink has a very nasty smell to it also just, just be aware of that guys Probably, uh, it's hard to see in there, guys. So it will take one full bottle of this, guys. This is 500 milliliters. And so it takes 500 milliliters. Save the bottle because it's got the batch number and all that on it, guys. You might need it. Put the lid back on. And you are good to move on to the next one. The next one is going to be black, guys. Didn't work. If you want to put the sticker or something on after, you can, guys. Um, they don't come labeled. Just because you can move them to any spot until it starts. So keep that in mind. Um, next is... K, which is black. So we're going to do the same thing. Remember also guys, they don't give you inks with these. So you have to go buy your own inks. Um, just a little know-how about that or little info. So buy what brand you want. Um, I don't really have a preference because this is the first time doing UV ink. I I did use one of my suppliers that I've used before for a lot of my other stuff though. So use who you want. You should have a rag handy also guys because it is kind of important. But now where I'm using the scissors where I've got it on the scissors. So I don't cross contaminate and transfer the ink to the other other ones after. But we're going to do the same thing. We are going to pour the whole bottle in. So that is the black or K. Next is white. White is one of them colors that let me 
grab this shirt right here, guys, so I can actually have something to just make sure my scissors are clean. Uh, white's one of them colors that no matter what printing process you're doing, it will get, <clears throat> um, it will settle. That's why they have an agitator on it. Um, so here we go with the white. Sorry it's taking so long guys, I actually had a little piece hang up on here. And just remember guys, take your time. There's no need to rush. a little air in there so and the air came because I shook it up just a little bit to make sure I got all the the particles mixed up in the white but in doing so it did one find the lid and if you're worried about it guys you can take a cotton swab or a piece of cloth and actually just clean that it's up to you if you're worried about it do it if not no biggie I'm going to just clean it just to keep everything kind of nice and uniformed and it just if you keep your stuff nice and neat when you start then it will tends to last a little bit longer take that other ring off next is the magenta and move the agitator switch over and just move it out of the way guys we'll get to it later where the officially best way to mount it um, but next is magenta we're gonna go with the magenta guys sorry it's a very long video guys it's one of them things that takes a few minutes to pour ink ink doesn't just shoot out so Just remember, these inks are fairly potent smell to them. I mean, they're not bad. They're not as bad as solvent ink, per se, as a smell. But they definitely have a distinct smell. And that's just part of UV ink.
Now the nice thing guys, yeah, drop some. <laughs> the nice thing about doing it this way and the way they suggest is for let's say some unknown reason you did just clean my mess up, try to anyways. It will stain so um just be aware of that. It's a white table. The other bench that we're gonna be putting it on will be wood table or a movable cart so we can move it around just to do some other things. But the nice thing guys too is if you follow the steps this way, let's say I did mix these two up. Since I haven't turned it on yet, I could unpull this, swap this one over, and move it over to the other one. Just swap the positions of these because they just slide in there. So that's the other nice thing, guys, of doing it the, the kind of steps that they lay out for you to do. So in case you did mess something up, you didn't totally run it through the print head and have it the different colors. In the program, though, there is a way to set up the print head color that you've got it channeled to. It's just an extra step though. So this is, like I said, that's just another convenience though. Follow everything, every manual that you get says because every printer thing that you get will be different. Um, I was speaking to someone earlier today on one of my other videos or commenting and it was an older video and it was setting up the Epson uh, 15,000. And what happened is you have to follow that protocol. And what the guy didn't do is he didn't follow that protocol. So he didn't go through the steps of how it purges the ink. And now he's having issues getting ink even into the printer. It's not functioning. So the big thing, guys, is follow the instructions that everyone gives you. They make them for a reason and they give you the steps for a reason. Like I said, the next step here, guys, like I said, I'm taking you guys along through the journey of setting this up. But the next step is to connect the wire, which we did. It was part of the other section. So we connected that wire. Let me move a few more pieces. And then the The next thing, which we put the the waste ink cartridge right here. Let me see if we can focus it in for you guys. Um, trying to get it a little bit lower. I don't want to run it completely into the bottom because it's not going to really matter. They suggest running it up front. And it does have some room, but then it's kind of close to the edge. So for that reason... I'm just going to run it over here out of the way for right now. S sneak it underneath here. And just keep it kind of out of its own little way. Push the hose down a little bit. It will be fine, you just don't want it to tip over, guys. So that's kind of the next step. And then after that, let me go grab some screwdrivers. Because I'm going to pause you guys, but we've got to remove this cover on here okay so I'll pause it and we'll be right back 